Here is the hard race pushing kit. These are for the rear trailing arms. Part number 6106. They fit 8891 Civic CRX EFs, any of the EGs, EKs, DC2. The only one they do not fit is the 9093 Acura Integra. Those are the only ones that have a larger diameter for the rear trailing arm. We're gonna put these on this 97 Integra today. And if you look here closely, you can see the old bushing, it's torn on the bottom. These are hard rubber and it says they're 150%, 150% stronger than the OEM bushings. I have these on my car, on this car, my track car also. They uh, feel very, very well, they're very responsive. And it's really not that difficult of an install. Some people, they t excuse me, they like to drop the front of the trailing arm down and try to knock it out. I'm just gonna remove the whole trailing arm and it's a lot easier to hammer at when you have it free from the car. So let's start by getting this trailing arm removed. The first thing I'm going to remove, we need to get the brake caliper taken off of the trailing arm. Get this clip removed. Slide it up with some pliers. Okay, that's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get removed. Once you have that clip out, you can use your flathead. Get that pulled up, use your pliers to pull it out. Awesome, once you have that removed, you can pull the cable free. Now, I'm sorry I forgot to mention, before you start all this, go ahead and uh, let your e-brake down inside the car. It makes it a lot easier, it takes the, the tension off the e-brake cables. So we're gonna pull that through, and you're gonna wanna push it through here as well. Um, squeeze it through, it's always difficult for me to do with one hand. So I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna get that removed. But before I do that, on the reverse side of this is a 12 millimeter uh, bolt. Get that removed and then your e-brake cable will be completely free from the rear trailing arm assembly. Next, I'm gonna remove and loosen up and remove this bolt right here. This is uh, a 14 millimeter bolt. Now sometimes to get to this, and to drop it, you may need to loosen up this bolt here also. But if you are, make sure you mark it. I already scratched my screwdriver so I could see where it was sitting initially, all the way slid in. That way if this slides out of place, you don't mess with your alignment too much. Granted, it is smart to get the entire car aligned after the energy suspension kit that we just did. And then also these trailing arm bushings. So we're not really too concerned, but we do want to keep it as close as possible. So remove, loosen up and remove the 14 millimeter bolt. And if you need to loosen that one as well, just so the arm swing, uh, swings down a little bit, go ahead and do so. And after you have this one loosened up, you're not able to get it out all the way. You run out of room because of where it uh, lines up on the car. Remove both of these 14 millimeter bolts which are actually holding up the trailing arm attached to the trailing arm bushing. After those two are removed, the trailing arm will drop a little bit more, and now you can get this 14 millimeter bolt out of the front. Okay, now the front of it's free, it wants to drop, but everything else is holding it on. The next thing you need to remove, there's only two more things holding it on. First is the upper control arm. 14 millimeter bolt, which goes through, holds the top of the trailing arm. And on the bottom side, the 14 millimeter bolt uh, right here as well, holding on the the lower part of the, the lower control. I'm sorry, the trailing arm, which attached to the lower control arm. Now, looking at it, let me see. I know what what I'm going to do is going to be smart because it's going to attach it. Remove these two 10 millimeter bolts right here. Let's get the ABS sensor away from the rear trailing arm because if I try to pull it, it's not going to allow me because this is bolted up to the lower control arm and everything underneath there. So remove those two 10 millimeter bolts first, get that ABS sensor pulled away. Okay, that worked out perfect, but 
this one there was one more bolt right here so you have three 10 millimeter bolts holding the ABS sensor to the trailing arm so get those three removed next remove those two bolts I'm gonna start with the top one the top 14 millimeter holding the upper control arm and then I'm gonna use the 14 on the bottom with for the lower control arm okay I got both bolts removed next remove this 12 millimeter bolt which is holding on the brake line. I'm gonna need as much slack as possible. So if you remove that, we'll be able to pull the brake line away from the trailing arm and give us a little more room. So get that removed. And then, there we go, pry it away. You don't wanna put slack, I'm sorry. You don't wanna put tension on the brake line. But this is actually the optimal position. You wanna make sure we protect his wheel studs don't want those on the cement and this the trailing arm this yourself, when we take it off you're gonna hit it from the inside going out so a couple swift hits here with a hammer and it'll probably slide right out and you can see see look at his bushing geez it's not even connected on the top anymore this shit is just gone so let me get a hammer That's how easy those are. Smack it a couple times. New and old. Now to put the new one on. Um, you see what I did? I put this box underneath it. I didn't want to damage the wheel studs at all. We did uh, change those out a while back with some new bearings. We need to get this to the front side. And we need to figure out the direction we're going to put it in because we're gonna have the car lowered we don't want to put it in just the same way that it was we're gonna want to we're gonna cock it a little bit let's see it's gonna actually be cocked this way because the trailing arms always gonna be up since the car's lowered and we're not gonna do a huge amount we're just gonna try to offset some of some of it with the car being lowered and also when pushing out your bushings make sure you put them back in the proper orientation if you look you can see how one side is considerably longer than the other and you can tell which way I hit it out. I obviously hit it out from the inside out so this part was a part that slid off of the trailing arm. So it's going to go in at this angle. You don't want to make sure you put it like that because then you're going to be pushing it in too far and it's not going to line up appropriately to where it should be. Now it's going to get a little beat up as I was hammering it in. Of course, knocked off all of the the, the, t the paint that was on it, but it's in there firm. I even cocked it a little bit to accommodate for the lower ride height, but we're good to go. Go ahead and reinstall everything and you are set. Not too difficult of an install. The hardest part is getting these damn things pushed back into here and hammering them in. I had the Took me probably like 30 minutes just to get this one finally fit into there and uh, put back into place. But good luck on your own install and thanks for watching again.